Hello. I have started to curl my hair already, and I've got two curls into it, and then I thought, you know what? I haven't made a video in a little while. Maybe I will just do that and chat with you guys while I, while I do my hair. So that's what I'm gonna do. My other hair tutorials have not turned out so well. Maybe this one will be better. We can cross our fingers and hope for the best, which is what I do every day with everything, pretty much. So it's October now. Still hot, hot as ever though. Maybe even a little more hot. It's the weirdest thing. So I went for a run yesterday and was dying. Because we went a little bit late. It was so hot. Oh, if you guys are thinking that I'm I'm extra makeupy today, <laughs> I uh, I watched a a video from my friend Jenny at Charleston Makeup Artist, and she did a video of a smoky eye using the using black eyeliner, and so a black smoky eye, which is right up my alley. But you know, I I don't know if I can pull it off or not. But who cares, whatever. I could try, right? And she got her inspiration from watching another YouTuber. And I, I subscribed to her and watch her as well, but I hadn't seen this one. Her name is Violet or Violet. B-I-O-L-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. And she's in France, I think. And so it's probably something fancy like Violet. I don't know, I could be completely wrong. If you guys know, you can correct me. I really don't mind being corrected. I mean, how are you gonna learn stuff if, if people are afraid to correct you? I mean, I don't want you to do it in a mean, condescending way. Who likes that? Nobody, nobody likes that. I don't think, if they do, I think they're lying. So I'm using, still, yeah, you, you heard that sniff. Still sniffly. I finally went to the doctor yesterday and got some antibiotics for a sinus infection because this has been hanging on for way too long. And it was starting to hurt my teeth. Do you guys ever have that? And so I know that when my teeth start hurting for no reason that I have a sinus infection. My gums get really sensitive because they, they're swollen. It, it wasn't over here. It was all over here. And it was all, everything in, in here was all swollen. So I got some antibiotics and I got the cortisone shot. And so I was actually breathing from both sides last night, I noticed when I woke up this morning. But that has gone away since I've been up. So I've got a lot to do today. So this is the T3 the trio where you can clip, move this thing and I have the, in, and take this off. And I have the, this is a one and a quarter and I also have the one inch. And it also came with a little tapered barrel wand, but I hate the taper so I never use that one. So I ordered another one a, like that fits in this that's I think a two inch. No, 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 it was not two inch. It was a one and a half. Two inch would be way too big for my hair. So I've done that on the bottom. And then I was watching a video from Harmonize Beauty. You guys watch her, super cute, really good with hair. Of course, she was doing this look with, a, with one of those halo hair extensions in. So it made her fine, thin hair look a lot thicker than my fine, thin hair. But I'm not using that. And she, but her thing that she used was a three-quarter inch, which is pretty small. And mine looks even small. I got a three-quarter inch, but it looks even smaller than the one she was using. And she used a different kind that was more expensive. I went to Sally's and found this one. Um, let's see. And she did hers into three sections, but I'm just going to... I went... So I made a section right here about at my eyebrows, and now I'm just going to go everything eyebrows and up. And I think I'm going to alternate. 
Oh, guys, that's pretty big. Oh, she did do this little trick, which I, which has been useful to me. She got that front section, and she brings it all the way like to the center of her face. And then she starts. This little sucker gets pretty hot, so I don't have to hold it on very long. And then she does that trick where where she, you know, it grabs at the end, and then she, she pulls it and stretches it so that it gives you a little more length than you would have normally. So where are you gonna go all dolled up and made up today, Kim? <laughs> I'm going to clean my house today. Does I find that that's the best time to, to practice a new makeup look is when you're really not going anywhere, that way you know if it works or not. So sorry, I'm so sniffly. Probably a lot of you are sniffly at this time of year. Here in Tennessee, it's ragweed and I think goldenrod season. Which tears me up. It didn't used to affect me so much. It's gotten worse as I've gotten older. Oh, see this comb right here? I don't like the colors of this comb. It's just a con air. But I had a favorite one for a year for a few years. This is the probably the sweetest thing Jeff's ever done. <laughs> Just the nicest, most thoughtful thing Jeff's ever done for me. <laughs> I was whining about how I had dropped this thing. It used to be the same length, the same length as this one. And then I dropped it and it broke. The, and so it was all it had like a jagged thing. So he took it down to his shop and he sawed it off and made me a little comb. So that makes me happy. Am I ready for, oh, I'm ready for the smaller one now. So these small curls, while they are a little bit curly sue, um, they really hold. And I've been finding that my curls haven't been holding real great lately. I don't know if it's the heat. Or the humidity, it just gave up. But these little curls do stay a little longer. So if anybody's interested in seeing black smoky eye, I had to put a little brown with it too. That's just who I am. Um, if anybody leaves it down in the comments that they're interested in that, then I will sure try to do it for you. We got so much to do. I know you guys do too. Everybody does. It's a busy world. If I'd quit, if I would just write it down and like pick a thing to do until I get all of my projects done, that would be a beautiful thing for me didn't feel hot. This thing turned off on me. I'm glad I noticed that. That one would surely fall out. So we're going to redo this one. Alright, so what projects do I have, you ask? I want to completely take everything out of my pantry, which I'm very lucky. I have a big walk-in. I've held this so long right there. Boy, that, that curl is really going to hold, I think. Although I didn't get to the end, it fell out. So I won't do that same part again. I'll go on down a little further. So I want to take everything out of my walk-in pantry and take it into my kitchen and then clean off all my shelves and like group all my things together so that I see how much I have of everything. And um, maybe I'll just do one big middle one back here with the little curling iron. Why not? Sounds like a good idea to me. Less, less things to curl. When you do it all in one big bunch. Okay, back to the little one. And so then I'll have, I'll take, I'll get rid of things that are expired and I'll take stock of what I have and what I need. 
Okay, so there's that, the pantry. And I'd like to make it look cute so that when I'm in there pulling things out that it sparks a little joy. You gotta find joy in the little things. I think sometimes. Don't you guys think that too? It is the little things a lot. Um, let's see. Oh, see this little thing right here? It's a nice little thing I got from Amazon. I'll try to write cute. Possibly might get a lunch date with my husband. And kids. I don't know, probably not today. Today they're pouring concrete at new construction. <laughs> so maybe I'll go get a sandwich and just go sit and watch them do that. Maybe I'll make a little film of them. Because it's pretty interesting. I like that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, this thing. So it's nice because you know, if you button up, so I'm trying to, my husband really likes me in these, like just these kind of button up shirts, just loose. And But if you button it way up here, it looks more, more manly to me. But if you, you know, if you button it enough to where it hangs cute, then you're, you know, you're showing too much sometimes. More than you want. So, anyway, I got this off Amazon. I will, I'll write down what it was. So I'll go look it up because I might want to order a few more because it's super comfortable. It's just a pull-on. It's like a bando thing, I guess. <laughs> My husband, he heard a joke one time about, I think it was Jeff Foxworthy. You might be a redneck if you wear a tube top to a wedding. <laughs> so, Jeff, Jeff asked me, was I going to a wedding today? Well, first he said, well, you look really cute. And he liked it. And then I told him what it was. He goes, are you going to a wedding today? We like to joke a lot. It's nice. Anyway. So, let's see. There's the story of that. What else have I been doing? I did that 15 poll questions with my daughter-in-law, Felicia. She was <laughs> such a good sport. She's really a lot of fun. I, I need to ask my other daughter-in-law if she wants to do do one too and give me her answers because I'd like to hear her answers too. It, it's a good, I like those little question things. It's a good way to get to know people. Don't you think? See if you gel with them or not. I guess we should try to gel with everybody, right? People that exclude people from things. I sure don't want to be a person like that. I say the more the merrier. Except for when it comes to crowds. I don't I don't do crowds very well. Somebody that I watch here on YouTube, a sweet, sweet lady, I can't what was her name? That said, well, I know. I can see her face. I think it was her that said that she didn't like crowds. She, and, and I found that out from her doing the little tag, the little 15 fall questions. Goodness, I'll, have, I'll write it up here. It's evading me right now. Something, Lisa's Paradise, I think. Lisa, Lisa, is that right? Lisa's Paradise? She's... Super sweet. I haven't known her very long at all on here, but she seems like my kind of gal. Watched a video over this morning on how to uh, freeze corn, fresh corn from your garden or the farmer's market or wherever. It was good. Okay, so we've got our curls. I'm going to let them sit for a minute. Okay, and then we're just gonna muss it up a little bit. So are y'all excited for fall? I'm excited, finally. You know, I'm a summer girl. I don't know if you know that, but I'm a summer girl and I like, I like going to the beach. I like the heat, but I'm telling you, I'm a little tired of it now. I liked it better when I wasn't a runner and I could just stay in the air conditioner 
and go out when it wasn't too hot. But um, just for the sake, I'm, I've got a 5K at the end of this month that I'd like to be prepared for. And so I need to be out running. So I'm not a natural runner. When I say I'm a runner, <laughs> gosh, it, it makes me feel like I'm a hypocrite because I'm really not a runner. I am trying to be more of a runner. Okay, so I like how that did that right there, but then it kind of fell into nothing here. And also, I don't like that, that this is short to here, so I like to pair it with a little bit longer piece so that it'll stay together and it'll behave more like a longer piece of hair. It's a whole process, you know. What was I talking about? Oh, running. Gosh. And walking is good, too. I mean, I've, I've walked quite a bit in life and pushed strollers with my five babies. I've had to push a few miles in a stroller before. And I've done one 5K, which was about, I think, three years ago. Two or three years ago. Man, time is a funny thing. Um, and I did okay. So now I'm just going to go and pair. Some of my other hair is shorter through here that I hate. I, I cut layers in it. It's got to be a year ago, a little bit more than a year ago, and they, I don't know if it just keeps breaking now, but they're still not all the way to the end. And I kind of, I've decided, I don't know what I was thinking doing that, because I really, I need the weight of that hair. Oh, it doesn't do right. Um, I know you guys are dying. You're like, you're curling your hair twice. You're killing it. I know. No wonder your hair is not where you want it to be because you keep killing it. But I can't. I cannot do it. I just can't let it air dry and be healthy. Because my hair air dry is not pretty. It air dries pretty ugly, in fact. So what, what I like about exercise in general, it just makes you feel better about yourself. It makes you feel like you're not three steps away from the grave. Well, sometimes you feel like that afterwards. After about two or three days, you're like, I'm so sore. And when I was growing up, I always thought that that soreness would be there every time, but it get that soreness does get better. If you're just trying to implement this stuff and you're like dying, and you can't hardly squat down and go, Sit and go to the bathroom because you're so sore. That goes away. And you develop some more muscles. And then you don't get as sore after that initial awful soreness. So you may be well, do well to, you know, ease into it a little bit more gradually. But don't ease into it so much that it takes forever to see any any results because then you're just going to give up because who's going to keep doing something that's hard if you don't see the benefit in it i don't i won't do it so i kind of like to go hard about three times a week and then i relax on the other days and i rebuild up my strength and my stamina it's good. My poor aunt's suffering with a knee injury, so she's not been able to run with us. I hate that for her. And my poor mama has broken her foot. I hate that for them. It can happen to any of us. Enjoy where you're at right now. Okay, so now I don't always do this, but I think I will today since I've put in such effort. Already getting ready. Doesn't that girl at Harmonized Beauty, she says go straight up. She really builds in a lot of teasing. 
And I don't think I really like that much. So she does about an inch like that. I know it looks crazy. I know. So let's see. Maybe we just do it like this. I don't hardly ever do this step. I think it's probably worth it. So she just goes in and she says, just go in and push straight down. You don't do, 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 like that. You don't have to do all that. All right, so there's that. <laughs> Hello. She used some Aveda products I'd like to try. I've never really used Aveda stuff, like some kind of thickening thing. I don't even know if it was a spray or what. Go look her up again and find out. So, there we go. We've got a little bit of a something there in the back. I have a bad place back here where my hair splits. It's a double cowlick is what my hairdresser called it. So, I have to kind of make sure I, I get that at an angle. See how short it is right there? Why is it that short right there? I don't know. Whatever. I just got to deal with it. Maybe we'll just do the rest. Mm -hmm. So we're also, hopefully, we're waiting on a phone call from somebody about a horse, a stud feed, a stud that they have that we want to... We have a really great old mare, and we're hoping that she's not old enough, too old to breed and get a baby out of. Because my, she's a great riding horse, Tennessee walking horse. But she's not my favorite. My favorite is a big gray horse named Boo. Because we said he was like a ghost, and so we named him Boo. But he's getting, he's getting old, and I'm worried that I'm going to be really sad when he goes. And I know he can't be replaced, but I'd like to have another gray horse. And so we've decided that we want to try to breed her to a blue roan. Have you ever seen a blue roan? They're like a dark gray with a black mane and tail. They're really pretty. Mine, mine really faded into a really light gray, which I like that too. Gosh, how long can I zhuzh my hair? Turns out a long time. So last time I got a haircut, she cut it. She cut off. I mean, she probably cut off about that much, but it needed it. So it should be good ends now. So now I'm just trying to mix in that teasing so that there's still a little bit of fluff up there, but not like a big square <laughs> head. Um. So anyway, I like my gray horse, and I'm going to try and get another gray baby because i that's probably my favorite color horse. But also, I want to go see this horse in person and make sure he's nice. He has a nice temperament. I don't like how that's doing. So we're going to curl it one more time. What is your, what is your glitch, hair? Oh, and I didn't pull it all the way forward, did I? Maybe I don't have to. I'm going to hold it a little bit longer this time because I think I didn't hold it long enough. And it's got to last me all day. Why? Because I want it to be pretty all day. Why not? I don't know. All right, so that's it.